Welcome to Real Steve TV, where I'll be your host, Steve, and I'm the winner of Andrew Callahan's Channel 5 News Correspondent Competition, Documentary Competition. You haven't won yet? No, I... I, I know, I know. Cut, cut that. <laughs> After extensive research, we could find no evidence that Bareface has ever been called Bigfoot. That little kid was lying to us. I was probably uh, 11 or 12 years old and I saw a bunch of graffiti artists doing a mural at a, at a gym that our parents used to operate. And so after that, I was just like, I want to do that. And I kept my mind up to it and I've done some of the goals that I have thought of what I wanted to do when I was a little kid and now I'm here, you know, 20 years later just doing what I've always wanted to and what I looked up to, so. We're gonna go to the Acme Yards. It's like one to two miles worth of free range graffiti for the city. And it's at a scrap metal yard. A lot of the painters from here in Albuquerque have painted there, or either moved on or stopped painting, but I'm about that age where the painters that stop painting are about in their 50s now, and I'm almost in my 40s. I have four days off to do art before I go back to the liquor store to stock for three days for 40 hours, almost a weekend. There's always time for art, and I'm always planning, so that's always good because that's just where my, my life has taken me. You know, I stay up late to work after the kids go to sleep, even after if I get out of uh, work itself and I have projects due or whatever, I stay up later than I have to then to get to get all that stuff done. <laughs> you're climbing a fence with barbed wire on it or if you were out there fishing and you caught this and it really was eyeballing or really eye seeing so you really appreciate it and caught it basically keeping to my roots and where i started and what i love most and the money just came with it and just kind of the professionality of being out here doing this came with it people started recognizing my work so it helps out a lot just being out here and just the enjoyment that comes out of it. It's a stress killer for me. It has been since I was really young. Graffiti has just always been my favorite art form. It looks really just like barbs did. When I started, UBC was You've Been Crushed, but I think it's just a funny name in general. It's a, just an acronym for you to figure out if you want to, anything you can for UBC. Uh, Mine's under blue clouds is what I use for the for the acronym for that one. I write no. His his style is a unique one. It's a very like organic. It's something that I don't know. I appreciate it. Like it's it's definitely a style he created. And uh, it's his personality, you know, I could see this from two or three miles away and know exactly <laughs> who it is, you know, and that's what I like about it is that uh, from his characters to just like his canvas work to just 
uh, the art that I see him doing now is like uh, in businesses or stuff. I've been doing art probably since I was 14 doing graffiti art. And then I didn't start doing abstract art until I was about 19, 20 ish. And I'm 38 now. I got this job because I was a featured artist with OT Circus. And that's at our main gallery across the street. So that's when I just asked them what they were going to do about an art curator. And they told me to put on my suit and tie. And they were hired, they hired me just because of my, my art reputation from the community. For this brief moment in time, getting a, your name up, you know, and it might get gone over. It's, it's letting people know that you exist, you know.